When you come to a True Woman Conference and surrender yourself entirely to the Lord, you never know what adventure He'll take you on next. When Patricia de Saladin attended True Woman 08, she thought, what if God would bring the Revive Our Hearts broadcast to her home in the Dominican Republic? The Revive Our Hearts team caught up with Patricia as True Woman 08 was coming to a close. We would love to get a uh, true woman and revive our hearts and, and bring it to our women, to our Spanish-speaking women, not only in Santo Domingo, Dominican Republic, but in all Latin America and Spanish-speaking countries. God was doing something in the Dominican Republic, and Patricia couldn't shake the idea of translating Nancy Lee DeMoss's materials into Spanish. It was so strong in me that I just kept thinking, we need to bring her, we need to put her in Spanish. I want Spanish-speaking women to listen to this. After much prayer, the Revive Our Hearts team gave Patricia and her friend Laura de Chavez the go-ahead to start broadcasting Revive Our Hearts two days a week in Santo Domingo. In 2011, Aviva Nuestros Corazones was launched. It soon began to affect Dominican women in profound ways. I had no idea about um, God's design the biblical God's design for a woman. I bought a small radio so I could carry it in my bag everywhere I can go so I could listen uh, revive our hearts uh, more often. A revival started to happen in my house. I am part of the team that is translating the Revive Our Hearts radio program into Spanish. As I translate Nancy's teaching, I am growing so much. I sometimes have to stop the translation to cry and pray. This small project began to grow when an international ministry began distributing the program on their satellite. Patricia began hearing from women outside the Dominican Republic. Chile, Argentina, Peru, Guatemala, Ecuador, Colombia, Panama, Mexico, even in Spain, in Barcelona. They have downloaded the program from the satellite and are listening to it in Spanish. For a long time, Laura and Patricia had been asking the Lord to bring a Revive Our Hearts conference to the Dominican Republic. And in February of 2012, those prayers were answered. Bienvenidas a la Primera Conferencia Internacional de Aviva Nuestros Corazones. I was excited because it was a dream come true. It was actually in my country and it was happening. More than 3,000 women were there being impacted with the Word of God and the correct message about womanhood. To watch the audience from the platform was amazing and encouraging because I could tell as soon as we started that the women had connected with the Word. Those white hankies, they were, they were waving them all the time. God has made a provision for our problems. Dios ha hecho provisión para nuestros problemas. He has made a provision for your thirsty hearts. Él ha hecho provisión para tu corazón sediento. I see some white flags there. Yo veo algunos pañuelitos, unas banderas blancas. Do you want God's provision? ¿Quieres la provisión de Dios? ¿Quiénes quieren la provisión de Dios? You ready for the good news? Están listas para las buenas noticias. Many women came to saving faith in Jesus Christ during this conference, and hundreds of others were challenged in areas of forgiveness, brokenness, and surrender. It was just a taste of what we believe God is going to do with this growing ministry. The team is getting ready to launch Revive Our Hearts in Spanish five days a week and distribute it throughout Latin America. We're asking God to continue providing all that's needed to help Spanish-speaking women discover, embrace, and delight in Christ. And I believe God is going to do something bigger than what it, we are expecting or hoping because I, because I see God's hand in this. We believe in a great God and a great God does great things.